At the heart of the Northeast Megalopolis rests one of the most important commuter rail services. New Jersey is the most densely populated state in the country, and is a crucial component to the nearby metro areas of Philadelphia in Pennsylvania and New York City. Such a heavily populated state requires a functional transit system, and for the most part, New Jersey Transit fulfills that. New Jersey Transit is the statewide operator of the state's public transportation system through bus, light rail, and commuter rail operations, which run throughout New Jersey and in portions of Pennsylvania and New York. In 2022 alone, the system overall had a ridership of 175 million people. Today, we'll focus primarily on the commuter rail portion and how it has evolved over the course of its history. New Jersey Transit was founded in 1979 by the New Jersey Department of Transportation to address the transit problems within the state. But like so many other commuter rail organizations, the tracks and lines had been built long before. The lines had previously been built and owned by the Erie Lackawanna Railroad, the Pennsylvania Railroad, the Central Railroad of New Jersey, and the New York and Long Branch Railroad. By 1973, many of the nation's rail lines were collapsing. Amtrak had taken over partial ownership of many lines, but railroad companies continued to lose money due to expensive costs and extensive regulations. The Consolidated Rail Corporation was created by President Richard Nixon to address these problems. Also known as Conrail, the corporation would take ownership of the majority of rail lines in the Northeast, including the ones in New Jersey. Eventually, the NJDOT took ownership of the majority of the rail lines but contracted Conrail to operate them. In 1983, New Jersey Transit took over all commuter service in New Jersey, taking the form of present-day NJ Transit. At that point, New Jersey Transit had gained ownership over the large majority of every passenger rail line in New Jersey, bar a few. Those exceptions came through Amtrak, the PATH operated by the Port Authority, the Patco Speed Line over the Delaware River, and two SEPTA regional rail lines operated by Pennsylvania's SEPTA. In the 1990s, the first major expansion was made to the rail system. The Kearney Connection had opened in Kearney, New Jersey. Also known as the Midtown Direct Service, the Kearney Connection allowed trains on the Morris and Essex lines to enter and leave Amtrak's Northeast Corridor. This allowed for one seat direct travel into New York Penn Station from the Morris and Essex lines, hence the name Midtown Direct. In 2001, a new station was opened at Newark Liberty International Airport, linking one of the nation's busiest airports and the state's rail system through AirTrain Newark. In 2003, the Secaucus Junction Transfer Station was opened, dedicated to New Jersey Senator Frank Lautenberg. Senator Lautenberg had advocated for the federal funds to build the junction station. Secaucus was opened to link the two different rail networks in the state, the Hoboken Division and the Newark Division. This allowed for commuters from the Maine, Bergen, and Passac Valley lines to cross to Northeast Corridor services that ran directly into Manhattan, saving 15 minutes that would have been spent connecting with PATH at Hoboken. New Jersey Transit operates 10 commuter lines across the state. Nine of them intersect each other at Secaucus Junction, while the Atlantic City line runs independently between Philadelphia 30th Street and Atlantic City. The lines are generally split into two different divisions, the Newark Division and the Hoboken Division. The Newark Division consists of the Northeast Corridor and its Princeton branch, the North Jersey Coast Line, the Raritan Valley Line, and the Atlantic City Line. These lines were formerly operated by the Pennsylvania Railroad, the Central Railroad of New Jersey, and the New York and Long Branch Railroad. It is characterized as the lines that operate through Newark Penn Station and primarily along the Northeast Corridor, with the majority of the trains continuing to New York Penn Station in Midtown Manhattan. The Hoboken Division was formerly operated by the Erie Lackawanna Railroad and is characterized by the lines that operate through Newark Broad Street or to Hoboken. This includes the Maine, Bergen County, Passac Valley, Port Jervis, Meadowlands, Montclair Boonton, Morristown, and Gladstone lines. Although historically many of these lines ran straight to Hoboken, with the addition of the Kearney Connection and the Midtown Direct Service, the Montclair Boonton, Morristown, and Gladstone lines have services that run direct to New York Penn Station. Now, let's look at each line briefly. Operating on the Amtrak-owned Northeast Corridor, New Jersey Transit's Northeast Corridor line runs from New York Penn Station to Trenton Transit Center, as New Jersey Transit's busiest commuter rail service. 
On the map, its symbol is the New Jersey State House, and it is colored red. It has 17 intermediate stations throughout northern and central Jersey, and after Newark Airport, it follows the path of US Route 1 very closely. The line includes the Princeton Dinky, a two-car, five-minute service that runs from Princeton Junction, where Northeast Corridor trains come, to Princeton, located in Princeton University. Because the Northeast Corridor line runs concurrent with all of Amtrak's Northeast operations, delays are incredibly frequent on this line. Next up is the North Jersey Coast Line. As New Jersey Transit's second busiest line, the NJCL operates through the Jersey Shore region, hitting many big beach locations until Bay Head, its terminus. The coastline is colored light blue and has a sailboat as its symbol on the system map. The coastline runs between New York Penn Station and Bay Head, but the line is only electrified as far as Long Branch, so New Jersey Transit operates a shuttle diesel train between Long Branch and Bay Head during off-peak hours. During rush hours, there are a limited number of dual-mode engines that run a train from Penn Station straight to Bay Head. The line has 20 intermediate stations and runs on the Northeast Corridor line before splitting after the Rahway Station. Next up is the Raritan Valley Line. The Raritan Valley Line runs west of New York Penn Station to Highbridge, making use of the former CNJ Main Line west of Cranford. It has 20 intermediate stations spread across four counties. It was formerly limited to Newark Penn Station before New Jersey Transit added off-peak trains during the week that continue straight through to New York Penn Station. The Raritan Valley line is colored orange and its symbol is the Statue of Liberty on the system map. The line is not electrified west of Newark, so all trains that run on the line have diesel capabilities. The only line not to pass through Secaucus, the Atlantic City line runs between Atlantic City and Philadelphia 30th Street with nine intermediate stops. The line, which is not electrified, uses trackage controlled by the Pennsylvania Railroad. On the map, the Atlantic City line is colored dark blue and the symbol is a lighthouse. Atlantic City is the only line to not have a traditional rush hour added service period. Next is the main line. The main line runs from Suffern, New York to Hoboken, New Jersey with 18 intermediate stops. It runs daily service and was once the main north-south line of the Erie Railroad. It is colored yellow on system maps and its symbol is a water wheel. None of the trackage is electrified, so all trains are push-pull with diesel engines. A unique part of the main line is its partnership with the MTA's Metro North Railroad. Some trains continue past Suffern, terminating at Port Jervis, New York, as a part of the Port Jervis line on the Metro North system. The line is operated in conjunction with Metro North and New Jersey Transit under a contract with the two transit operators. Port Jervis bound trains use the NJ Transit main line to travel straight from Port Jervis through to Hoboken, running express through most of New Jersey. Alongside the main line is the Bergen County line. The Bergen County line runs from Suffern, New York to Hoboken, New Jersey, with 18 intermediate stops. It follows the main line for the majority of its path briefly splitting between Meadowlands and Glen Rock. It is colored gray on maps and its symbol is a cattail. As on the main line, there is no electrification so all trains are powered by diesel locomotives. Metro North also operates its Port Jervis line over the Bergen County line, identical to how it is on the main line. The Passac Valley line runs from Hoboken, New Jersey to Spring Valley in Rockland County, New York. The line runs through Hudson and Bergen counties in New Jersey, before services continued into New York under a contract agreement with Metro North Railroad. The line is colored purple and its symbol is a pine tree. Like the Maine and Bergen County lines, the tracks are not electrified and use diesel locomotives. The Port Jervis line also appears on NJ Transit maps. It is an NJ Transit service operated under agreement with Metro North that runs along the main line past Suffern and to Port Jervis. Rolling stock consists of cars in both Metro North and New Jersey Transit livery. Another line on the map is the Meadowlands line, where trains run on limited service between Secaucus Junction and Meadowlands Sports Complex. Trains operate in conjunction with major events, most notably at the MetLife Stadium. The montclair boonton line runs between Hoboken, New Jersey or New York Penn Station and Montclair State University or Hackettstown. The line is a consolidation of three individual former lines. 
the Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western Railroad's Montclair branch, which ran from Hoboken to Bay Street, the Erie Railroad's Greenwood Lake Division, which ran from Montclair to Mountain View in Wayne, and the former Lackawanna Boonton Line, which ran from Hoboken to Hackettstown. The line serves 28 intermediate stations, and most service operates between New York Penn Station or Hoboken and Montclair State University. The line was opened in 2002, when the Montclair Connection opened, connecting the railroad branches. The line is colored red on the map, and its symbol is the state bird, the eastern goldfinch. The Morristown line runs between Dover, Hackettstown, or Mount Olive, and Hoboken or New York Penn Station. Roughly 50% of trains use the Kearney Connection to reach Penn Station. The rest will continue through to Hoboken. The line is dark green on maps, and its symbol is a drum. The line is fully electrified east of Dover, so most electric locomotives from New York Penn Station will go to Dover. Weekday service between Hoboken and Dover is mainly diesel, while all Midtown Direct service is either electric or dual mode. And the last line of the New Jersey Transit System is the Gladstone Line. Running from either New York Penn Station or Hoboken, the Gladstone Line provides electric or diesel service to Gladstone, with 24 intermediate stops. The Gladstone branch makes up the second part of the Morris and Essex rail lines. On the system map, it is colored light green and its symbol is a horse. The line was formerly part of the Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western Railroad before it merged to create the Erie Lackawanna Railroad. Gladstone lines use the Morristown line until Summit, where it diverges into the Gladstone branch on its own. So that is a light overview of New Jersey Transit's rail operations. Many plans have been announced to extend the system, most notably west towards Pennsylvania by way of the Raritan Valley and Montclair Boonton lines. New Jersey Transit is a vast commuter rail system, the third busiest in the country behind only Metro North and Long Island Railroad. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and comment new ideas that you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching.